guys, um, today I had this Windows 98 PC, HP Pavilion, and I thought, hey, I should restore it because it's in really bad shape. And it's also my channel photo, so I need it to actually work and stuff, otherwise it won't work. So I'm going to try and keep it as original condition as possible. I think today I'm just going to be disassembling it, but uh, we'll see what happens. Sorry about that. Let's be I'm just going to quickly get this case off of it. Okay, it looks like I did disassemble it on the right side. I took this apart before, tried to get it working, but it, it wouldn't boot, but I didn't take it completely apart, so I think I'm, I'm just gonna take it completely apart this time and see what's up. Something is caught. Okay. Come on. Alright guys, we got the uh, top off. Sorry about that. But um, we got the top off. Um, I think it should be all computer screws. Basic ones, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, let's start the disassembly process. So I think first I'm just going to remove all these cables. not strong enough to work on these computers. <laughs> I'll probably do a cut here. Maybe not. You'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take this out of the case right now. I'll figure it out in a second. That did come out, but I need to find the screw now. Yes, yeah, so we got ourselves a hard drive. I'm probably gonna replace that. Probably means definitely. It's definitely a mess in here. I actually have a ton of PC games. Like you saw in the last video, I have SimCity. I got that working. No, I didn't actually get that working though, unfortunately. Okay. Floppy disk drive. We have ourselves a floppy disk drive. No. Let's get the other bits out. Let's get this power supply out. I don't think this has any cards in it except for maybe like a dial up card, which is a horrible piece of crap, and I'm just gonna place that with a Ethernet card. I just dropped a screw again. And I'm gonna keep this original. Let's hope. And I found this little spot in my basement to do these videos, so... 
like specifically these re sort of repair videos that I'm doing right now. I have no idea what power supply this is. It's the one that came with it. It's not dead though. So I may keep it. May get rid of it. Who knows? The problem is I don't actually have a copy of Windows 98, so what is on here? I think it's like Windows Me. I think that's what's on here. The problem is, is that this drive doesn't come out. Like you try all you can, but it just won't come out. I have a couple problems with this PC. It's the fact that it's really, really just not that good. It doesn't boot anymore, which I think the hard drive might be dead. I haven't powered this on in a while, so. I think I might just take this off. Anyways, I found this in my, I found this in my basement, and I thought, hey, I could use this for gaming. Clearly, I can if I can get it running. Maybe attempt to get a copy of Windows 98. I'll figure that in a minute. Let's, let's get. I got that free. No. Probably gonna attempt to replace these because they're in such bad shape. See, this one's even wired on backwards. Who knows? Maybe they did that on purpose. This is probably the first time that I've stripped this computer. There's like tons of dust everywhere. Let's try the left hand trick, even though I'm not left handed. See, it would help if this would just come off, but it doesn't. Here we go, we got the power supply out. Uh, that. If we're lucky, we can get out this motherboard. But we may have to take the back side of the case off, which is another hassle. But I don't care.
It's like riveted on. How am I gonna get this motherboard out? If they seriously made this a permanent fixture, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, yes. We got them, boys. Okay, so this comes off. There we go. Got most of the case off. Let's try and get the motherboard out. Probably gonna have a bath from rubbing alcohol later, but um, yeah, may need to do some retro on the plastic bits of the case because they're all yellow. Well, sort of. Sorry, you can't see this, it's just that I just need to see this moment. This motherboard has probably never been out of this case except in the factory. I think I'm gonna keep it the same though. And definitely gonna take out this card. Add some RAM because it only has one stick of RAM, which hasn't gone bad, which is good. Like, I did have the hard drive working, but uh, I, as soon as I took it apart the first time, it would not work. And a couple more screws. Actually, no, there might be only one left. Actually. That would be amazing. There we go. Hopefully this should just come free. If I am lucky. Yeah, it should just come free. Oh, it's the card. Okay, I need to remove the card first. The card is holding it in. Yeah, it's a dial-up card. It takes a dial-up internet. That's not even actually an Ethernet port. That's just an excuse. Anyways, we should be able to get this out now. And I'm correct. Here we go, we have a motherboard. Okay, so... Clearly, this is gonna have a bath and rubbing alcohol. Or something. That might be really bad for it, though. Please let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I'm gonna take out the RAM. And this is... No idea how much RAM. But it is a good stick, so I'm gonna keep it. But clearly, this is covered in dust and stuff, so I'm just gonna blast it with something. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll just take the vacuum to it. Anyways, this is a very long video, and I'm gonna cut out some bits, so thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in part two.